Hi, are you all right? You having a good Saturday? I'm going to make some flapjacks. I'm going walking with the girls tomorrow. I'm going to Ulls Water. We're in training because we've got a 26 mile hike coming up. So we need to get some miles in tomorrow. So I'm going to make some flapjacks because we're going to need a bit of an energy boost for halfway around. So I'm going to put some, you know, seeds and a bit of dried fruit in there as well. So I suppose it's more of a grown up flapjack, but it'll still be a sweet. Might put a bit of drizzled chocolate on there as well. I'm making double quantity. So I've got 450 grams of rolled oats, 450 grams of just plain sugar. I've got some seed mix and I'm just going to put 200 grams into there. If you've got any seeds left, a nice way to use them is to sprinkle them over salad or put them in yoghurt with some fruit. Now I've got 300 grams of dried fruit. These were just from Aldi. I had some left of ra raisins and cranberries and I had a few apricots left. But I don't want massive big bits of fruit in there so I'm going to chop them up. There we go. Use a knife if you don't have a blender. Put in 450 grams of melted butter and 200 grams of golden syrup. Now give it a good stir together. I've got syrup on my jumper. I don't know how I've managed that. How does it get from there to there? Give it all a good stir in. You want everything to be coated so that everything sticks together. Now isn't that the nicest flapjack mixture you've ever seen? Looks so good. Tip it into your tray. Now I've lined a tray because you don't want it getting stuck. Wait a minute, I don't want it to move. Get a bit in and then put my parchment where I want it to be. That's it, and then it won't move. I think I'm going to need another tray for this. See how far I can get with it. Get some more in there. And pat it down really firmly. Really press it in to the tin. get it all in no problem now this will give us plenty of energy to get to the top of the fell people think energy bars are health foods they're not they're just high calorie foods that are going to give you energy calories are energy so i mean this isn't a health food it's not good for you because of all the sugar and butter in it but it'll get you to the top of a fell There we go, it's ready for the oven. Thirty minutes one sixty. Flapjack's ready. It's been in half an hour, or I think it's ready. I can smell it. You see it's there uh, bubbling. Now you'll notice it's liquidy. It's fine. Take it out. Just let it go cold. It's soft, but it'll go hard when it goes cold. Right, it's cold, and I've got it out of the tin. Just whip your parchment off. It'll just come off. Now there, you've got a good slab. Now we're gonna cut it into pieces, and I'm gonna cover it in chocolate. You're going to need a big knife. Be careful. It's rock hard and chewy. There we go. There's an end just shattered off there. Dead crunchy because it's on the end. Tastes good though. So I've cut them into squares. So I've melted some chocolate. Be careful. Don't overheat your chocolate because it'll go grainy and it'll it'll set solid in your bowl. So melt it until it's almost melted, then mix it together and it'll melt itself. 
but you don't want to ruin it. I want a bigger spoon. I love that one. This is a clean one. I'm just going to generously drizzle it all. Make sure they're all close together so you're not going to waste any. Plenty on. Use all of it. Just let the chocolate set and they're done. Right. Let's have a look. Chocolate set. Let's have a piece. Mm. Chewy. That's what a good flapjack should be. Buttery, fruity. Mm. I can't talk, it's, it's stuck my mouth up. And put what you want in. If you don't like apricots, don't put them in. If you don't like seeds, don't put them in. If you like white chocolate instead of milk chocolate, use white chocolate. I'll tell you what would be nice dried cranberries in inside the flapjack with white chocolate on the top maybe for next time cranberry and white chocolate flapjack that sounds nice mm. might make that next time but this this will get you up a mountain never mind a fell so you must give these a go dead easy Cheap enough, I got a massive bag of oats for 75p. Kids like them. Make them. Make it worth your while, make a big batch. Because it keeps. These keep in a tub. So I'll give them a go. Don't forget to like and share. And I'll see you soon. Bye bye.